Hello YouTube, it's me again, and I want to talk about an array of topics. You know, I constantly try to assess where we as a people are. And when I say we as a people, I don't mean just Hebrew Israelites, I mean all black people living in America. And I must admit, I get discouraged at times because I base and assess where we are based on the scriptures and the curses in Deuteronomy chapter 28 state that we will suffer these curses until we are destroyed. And I look at our behavior, I look at world star hip hop, I look at different Facebook pages and Instagrams, YouTube, and I don't know how much further destroyed we can be. Um, we have adopted the ways of our oppressor. The things that our oppressor forced us to do to make us ratchet, we have adopted and perfected the science of it and have perpetuated their handiwork from year to year. And it started in the 1960s, 70s, and it's gotten worse. We are not a serious people. We like to play. We like to have fun, we like to party, we like to drink, we like to smoke dope. We like to have sex all the time. And in fact, we, for the most part, evaluate the quality of our life by how much money, sex, and drugs we have access to. And that only ceases to be our primary measurements when we approach our 40s. The black woman is unmarriable. And the black man has been beaten down by the black woman and by society to the extent that he cannot reach his full potential. Thus, he's not able to teach the men under him how to reach their full potential. It's, uh, it's a pathology that took a long time to ingrain in us, but it was always there because coming off of the 60s with all of the black nationalist activity that took place, the fuckery that is going on now was just slightly below the surface. Otherwise, we couldn't have gone from what appeared to be a very conscious and progressive ideology and way of life that we were embracing to world star hip hop. It just doesn't happen. And so that's, you know, as Baptized the scribe says, he says, you know, he truly uh, admires their evil genius, the white man. And I do too. They uh, absolutely um, are diabolical. And they know us better than we know ourselves. And it's from that knowledge that they have of us, they know how to reward and punish so that they can get the behavior that they want from us. But here's the thing, and I've been talking about this with some brothers in a couple of videos that I've done about World War III and Civil War in the United States. They are done with our fuckery. We are not needed anymore at any level. We are not needed. So 
the behavior that the Democratic Party has been rewarding in black people, the behavior that the NCAA, whatever it is, the NC, whatever, not the athletic one, but the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, the Urban League, the Rainbow Coalition, Al Sharpton and his hustlers, all of those agendas have come to nil. And they offer no value. Their job was to placate us. They don't need to placate us anymore. We don't have any value anymore. Anymore. See, we've been nurtured to be incredible consumers. But as the economy deflates, our ability to do that has also deflated. The number of white people who have been harmed in the economy has become significant enough that they need to clear space. They need to eliminate some of their burdens and they need to take away some of the jewels that they've given us so that they can redistribute them to people that they want to have them. So. They already have Hispanics here to replace us on the lower end. And for the upper, for the middle class and upper middle class among us, they need to give those opportunities to their people. So they're gonna take them from us. And they're gonna do it not by just taking it and saying you're on your own. They know we'll create issues for them. They're gonna eliminate us. That's their goal. Now, whether they do it this year, next year, or five years from now, that's their goal. I mean, if you just just imagine you're white. Now you're 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 thinking about a wonderful future. And now, you know, you, you, you put you you put the architecture in place, you looked at it and you're like, oh that's that's great. You've looked at all the technology you're going to have access to. You're like, this is just getting better and better. And now you want to populate this place with people. And for whatever reason, you were thinking about a Little Wayne song. So you imagine immediately black people in this utopia that you're creating. And you're like, hell no. See, that's what's happening. They're, they're like, whoa, whoa. No, I didn't mean that. Hell no. And that's where we're at. Okay? As they plan for the future, they're like, hell no, we don't want these people. We're, you know, we've, we've been humored long enough. We pretty much got their music down. That was their big contribution. We, 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 we can imitate that now. We don't need them for that. We know how they do it. We figured it out. It's a science to it. We got it figured out. They don't need us. The only people that don't know we're not needed is us. Everybody that's here, the Hispanics, the Asians, the various foreigners from all over Europe, and domestic white people don't want us anymore. You know, we have shows like Empire and Scandal meant to do only one thing. Demonstrate our dysfunction. See, it, it, it's, it's two-pronged. It's, they show us a two-dimensional dysfunction of black people in Scandal and Empire. And then it is consumed and absorbed by black people and it becomes 3D dysfunction that they can witness in their everyday lives. So all they have to do is create programming that absolutely becomes the final limit 
of their tolerance. And when they do that program, that is the first day or the last day of black people in America. So they'll get there. You know, maybe Olivia Pope is going to end up killing the first lady, have her murdered, and then they'll understand. White women will understand what they need to do with black women who covet white men. And maybe on Empire, maybe Lucius Lyons or his sons will go into a traditional Fortune 500 company, gangster style with silencers, and fight a corporate takeover by murdering people. Once again, the response is going to be the same. Hell no. Can't have that. Need to do something about that. So we are supporting these programs. We're actually funding them. So we watch these programs. Sponsors support these programs with commercials. And it allows these programs to continue. So we are funding our own demise. And we're oblivious to it. We don't give enough thought about this. Everybody will just say you're crazy, you're a conspiracy theorist. Not the people who listen to me. But look at my, mem my subscriber count. Nobody listens to me. And when I say nobody, I, I respect and value the few subscribers I have. But you know what I'm saying. I don't have that many subscribers. There are some people that have tens of thousands of subscribers. Some of them talking about real, real issues, real talk. So power to them, and I'm, I'm happy for that. But there are a lot of, lot of subscribers going to channels where they talk a lot of nothing. And <clears throat> black people like to hear nothing. So... If you're a black person who's tuning into my channel for the first time, I encourage you to take what I'm saying seriously. Look at the world through my eyes for a minute. Try to see things the way I see things for a minute. And if you conclude afterwards that I'm full of it, that's cool. I applaud you for taking the time to look through my prism. And that's all I want you to do. I don't think you'll come away thinking I'm full of it. You may not come away completely of my opinion, but you're not going to hold the same opinion that you held prior to doing so. That's my hope as well, but it's also my belief for what I think will happen. So anyway, that's all I wanted to talk about. Uh, take care and look for my next video. Thanks a lot.